Hey, this is Joseph Lebrecht, and today I'm going to be talking about variable width strokes inside of Flash Professional CC 2014. So let's open up a new document. I'll create a new ActionScript 3.0 document here. And you'll notice I have my stage set to black by default. Um, that can actually be set from File, New, and inside of any of these different target types, you can choose a different background color and all these other settings as well and choose to make default and that'll do that for you. What I really want to show is the ability to create variable with strokes with inside of Flash Professional. So let's grab this tool here which is the line tool and we'll make a simple line from point A to point B and we'll also create a basic oval using the oval tool here and let's do something with the pen tool as well. So we'll choose the pen tool and we'll draw out a nice sort of uh, S-curve here. Okay, so now I can select any of these different curves and of course, just like always, I can change the properties of these things. So let's choose our straight line here and you'll notice in the properties inspector we can of course change the size of our stroke the different cap types so none round and square the joins whether it's miter round or bevel and what we can do is now go into this width setting here so we can see that the width setting by default is just basically a straight line it's not a variable width at all but we do have a number of different presets so profiles one through six. So if I choose any of these, you can see how they are actually applied to the stroke. And of course this applies to stroke and not to fill. So if I choose this stroke here and this particular one, and of course more pronounced they become the greater the stroke width is here. So if we increase that you can see really how these things are applied. Again, we'll bump that up quite a bit and choose, you know, a different width here. So that's pretty cool. What we can also do is create a new line here. And you'll notice as I create a new line, it remembers the last preset that I used, right? So maybe I just want to use this uh, preset here. I can choose that particular stroke once again and reset the preset to just the basic preset we're used to inside of Flash Professional. But something interesting is we have an additional tool and this is the width tool here. So using this tool we can now move along our stroke, click and drag to kind of fatten up and skinify some of these different uh, strokes here. So you'll notice how that works and I can even go through and do one side or the other for these things so if I drag something out like that and then decide well you know what I only want to adjust one side I can hold down the alt key on Windows and I can do that so just like that and I can have truly variable with strokes I think that looks hideous so I'm actually not going to retain that but the last thing I want to show is that you can take a stroke that you have sort of set up and if you want to use that again you can always add this to your profiles so I'll click on that plus button and I'll call this Joseph's killer stroke hit OK and now if I actually close this out don't save the changes and I could go let's let's for, let's just create an HTML5 canvas document just to show you and I'll bring out a nice thick stroke there and I can even use something like the selection tool to make a nice curve of that right so let's do that and if I have that selected I can now go into my width profiles and look at that, there's Joseph's killer stroke right there. And I can select that and see how that looks. And I could of course make adjustments and, 
and things like that to the stroke and even go in with the width tool once again find those particular points that I've already created and make adjustments and I can create more as well so if I wanted to create this bizarre effect here I could do that and make sort of this segmented uh, pea pod look to the stroke if I want to I can save this off once again to a different profile and just keep going uh, to my heart's desire so this is one of the neat new creative features inside of Flash Professional CC 2014 that I think a lot of people will enjoy using especially in drawing and animating these things